Hi and welcome to Valida's Designs and Fresh Folds. Today I want to show you how to make this tent card with a little uh, window in it. Alright, so to create my window I've used the labels 8 die and it's the second largest one. Very similar in shape to the top note die if you haven't got that. Um, I could have used that but I found it very difficult to um, centre that on my front so that's why I went for the top, uh, the Spellbinders die. So you need to cut that out of your card front and to get my window here um, I've used the Cuddlebug um, oh what's it called? Window pane um, embossed folder and I've just used a piece of acetate and gone ahead and embossed that okay and then put that in as my window pane. Okay so that's the, the basis of the card. To get this little um, um, part here that sits your tent out. I've just used um, a piece of cardstock that is the same width as my card and I've marked it at half an inch, one inch, one and a half and cut it at two. Okay and then you fold it into an M shape like that and you put your tape either side of here and you insert that then into the bottom of your card to keep it open. Alright so that's the basis of the card done. Okay, to make my little bird, I've used the two-step bird punch from Stampin' Up. Um, just put that together in the, the usual way. Um, to make his little feet, I'm going to take the branch that I punched from, from this one, and I'm just going to cut off um, the arch pieces of that last leaf on the end, and then I'm going to split that down the middle, and they are going to be my little bird's feet. Okay, so just put a little bit of glue on there and glue that then in there like that. Okay, so that's your little bird done. Okay, to make the reindeer, I've taken the wide oval punch and I've put a little mark here and here where I want to um, put my punch up to. If you're doing a lot of these cards, it pays to just put a little pencil mark there. Okay, and I'm just leaving a little gap here, and I'm going to punch that out, and that's going to be my head shape. And for the neck, I'm going to punch a large tag, and I've punched two ears from the two-step bird punch, they're the wings, and I've already gone ahead and inked those. Now the neck, I just want to cut it from, from this corner up to that corner. Okay, and that's going to be my neck shape. So you want to go ahead then and just sponge. This, um, the head here, I just want to take that point off. So it just makes that um, rounder. Okay, and I want to put um, a nice lot of shading on that bottom chin part. Okay, and then shade your neck as well. I'll put more on the bottom than the top. Alright, and go ahead and glue that together. So we're going to glue the head on. And I want my reindeer looking down. And one here. And the other here. Before I put the other ear on, I'll show you how I made the antlers. I've got one here made, but I've just used the large heart from the heart to heart punch, and I've put that in, punched it once, and then I'm going to punch it again, and it'll give me like a little Nike tick shape. All right, and the cross part of the antlers, I'm going to use this wider heart here, and I'm going to punch that once and put it back in and punch it again to get this little little shape here. Alright, so I just want to put a bit of glue on both those shapes and glue them on. I've seen people use the snowflake punch but we don't have that punch here in our catalogue which is a bit of a shame. But you can use, I've seen people use all sorts of things for antlers. Alright, I want to stick them on before I put the other ear on. Okay, 
and then put the other ear on. Like that. And I've popped his nose up. I've punched a, um, a red nose from a half inch circle punch and I've popped that up with a little piece of foam. Alright, and I want to use a little bobble eye, so I'm just going to put that up on a little. Um, oh, I can't even think what these things are called. Anyway, I'm going to glue his eye on and I want to put some red glitter on his nose. Just with some crystal effects and glitter. And I want to put a little bit of glitter, I think, on the bottom of my bird. Just on his belly. Just so he matches in with the reindeer. Okay, now lastly, I'm going to make this um, holly branch up here and I'm going to use the branch from the two-step bird punch and I have um, then gone ahead and punched some Martha Stewart holly leaves and I'm just going to attach them then to the bird punch. I need to punch one more. Oh no, I punched enough. Like that. And it turns it very quickly into another type of branch that you can use for something else. Okay, now to put it all together, I've um, ran another one of the labels 8 die, the same one as I used for the window through um, my machine, and I'm just going to mount all these things up onto there. I ran it through a cuddle bug and I've got the embossed. Um, snowflakes on the background and then I tore some pieces of um, white to um, make it look like snow, a snow scene or snow hills. And put your little bird on. Okay, like that. And then just add your holly leaves where you want. I'll just put it coming down there. Alright, and then you need to trim up the back to the shape of your die. I'll just trim that off. Okay, and then you could go and put that in your tent card, or you could just use a normal card. I think it would look great on and um, stick it to a normal card with a little um, sentiment here on the on the edge. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that little punch project for Christmas. Um, it's not too late to get another card in and send it off. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye.